Shalom. I want to give all praise and glory unto Yahweh, Bashem Yahushai, Bashem Harakakudash. I want to give double honors to the others, apostles of Great Millstone, and I also want to acknowledge the Akiyam who are pushing the truth with sincerity. All right, so <clears throat> I've actually been wanting to do this lesson since last week. Um, it's going back to last week when uh, you had the uh, former college superstar and he made it to the NFL with the second overall pick. Um, I think it was in 2001 or 2002, something like that. But anyway, his name's Charles Rogers. As you can see on the title, it says Charles Rogers, former Michigan State football Detroit Lions star, dead at 38. <clears throat> so... I'm going to go ahead and play this little quick video, and then I'm going to get into the scriptures. But actually, let's see if we can see anything. He died last Monday. He was only 38. Um, just kind of summarize it. Uh, he died of cancer, you know. Um, you know, it's a very young man. He was the number two overall pick in 2003 NFL draft. All right. Um <clears throat> You can see he was a big receiver. He was six foot three, two hundred and twenty pounds, and he could run. You know, back in back in his playing days. So you know, there's a picture of him back in uh, two thousand six. Uh, there's a quick uh, line right there. It says Charles Rogers says pain pills and injuries ruined his career, not marijuana. Because the brother was uh, using marijuana and pain pills. And, uh, <clears throat> you know, I've done lessons on the pain pills and the sorcery of, of Esau, which is witchcraft. Because if we go into uh, the word uh, pharmacy in Greek, it actually means um, witchcraft, which is pharmakia in the Greek. So, you know, he's telling you right here the witchcraft is what ruined his career because he got addicted to these pain pills all right so enough enough about mr rogers but i just wanted to get into the scriptures you know actually let me play this short video We keep companies ready for what's next. We weave security. Quick little ad gonna play, then we'll get into the scriptures after the short video. When it comes to digital transformation, Verizon keeps business ready. Listen. He was Michigan State's all time leader in TG catches. He began to shine at Saginaw High School in Michigan in football, basketball, and track. He was the first team All Big Ten in 2001 and 2002. He had a touchdown catch in 13 straight games. He was a unanimous All-American in 2002. He was the 2002 Bolitnikoff Award winner, which is the best wide receiver in the nation. The Lions drafted him in 2003 with the second overall pick. He got two touchdowns in his first game ever with the Lions. He only played 15 games in three seasons because he had injuries and, uh, you know, other things that prevented him from, you know, living up to his uh, hype coming out of college. But <clears throat> really quick, just again, once again, it says Charles Rogers, former Michigan State football Detroit Lions star, and he died. He, he he died at age 38, okay? So let me go back to the scriptures. <clears throat> and we're going to start at Job 1 and 21. And it says, And said, This is right after uh, the prophet Job, his children were killed, you know, in a, in a, in a great wind from the wilderness, it says in verse 19. I'm going to jump to 21. It says, 
and said, Naked came I out of my mother's womb, and naked shall I return thither. The Lord gave, and the Lord hath taken away. Blessed be the name of the Lord. In all this, Job sinned not, nor charged Yahweh foolishly. All right, so as you can see, you know, the, the football player, uh, Charles Rogers, you know, he had all kinds of accolades and all kinds of accomplishments throughout his uh, athletic career, you know, and um, just like in verse 21, it says, Yahweh gave and Yahweh ta hath taken away because, you know, the young man died, you know, he was only 38 years old. So that's a very uh, young man, you know, to, to be dead of cancer. You know, and like it said in the article, he was taking sorcery or witchcraft, which are those pharmaceutical pills, which literally the, the Greek word pharmakia means witchcraft. All right. So I'm going to go to, you know, because a lot of people, they don't understand that, hey, it's Yahweh that, that gives you these, uh, you know, these people call them blessings. You know, but the men of the Lord, we know that a true blessing is when we're taken up on those so-called UFOs for our salvation, right? But the world calls those accolades and all those accomplishments blessings, you know. But the, like I say, the men of the Lord, we know that the, the biggest blessing is is uh, understanding this truth that Yahweh is revealing unto his prophets, all right? <clears throat> so let's just go to Isaiah Really quick, I'll go to Isaiah 45 and 7. It says, I form the light and create darkness. I make peace and create evil. I, the Lord, do all these things. Okay, so a lot of people have a misconception. They say, oh, you know, you know, whenever bad things happen, they think it's something Satan did, you know, Um. But right there, it tells you, you know, Yahweh is the one who makes peace and he creates the evil also. All right. He more, he forms the light and he creates darkness. So I'm going to go to Job. And we're going to go to 2 and verse 10. And it says, but he said unto her. Oh, let's let's jump to to nine, because even though. Even though Job was going through a bunch of hardships, you know, and a bunch of, you know, shortcomings on the the world, in the world, you know, he never lost his faith and he kept his integrity, all right? And so should um, the men of this truth, starting out with the elders, apostles, and the elect. You know, we should keep, no matter what happens to us, we should keep our integrity like Job and, you know, we don't want to be cursing Yahweh because bad things happen to us, you know. Even if our kids die, you know, that's something that should build your faith rather than give you a reason to curse Yahweh, just like the prophet Job did. All right. So just like the, the young man, Charles Rogers, he passed away. But it'd be wise for his mother, you know, to, to make this uh, an opportunity for her to, uh, you know, repent. All right. So <clears throat> instead of to curse Yahweh for taking her son, you know. So let's see. We're going to go to number Job 2 and 9. We'll start out. Then said, this is after Job, all kind of bad things were happening to him. And his wife was basically acting feminine because the word feminine means lacking faith. Fe means faith and minin meaning like minus, minos, femin, femina. Right, when you act feminine, it means you you lack faith. So, um, verse nine says, "Then said his wife unto him, Dost thou still retain thine integrity? Curse Yahweh and die.' So she was telling him to curse Yahweh, you know, because of all of the bad things that were happening to them, you know. And that's, you know, that's the spirit of some of these women, you know." They, bad things start to happen to them, and, and they don't want to build their faith. Instead, they want to remove their faith, right? And that's why they're feminine. And also, men can be feminine, you know? When a man has no faith, well, he literally is feminine, lacking faith. That's what that word literally means, okay? 
So, verse 10, But he said unto her, Thou speakest as one of the foolish women speaketh. And foolish means non-believer. Right? What shall we receive good at the hand of Yahweh, and shall we not receive evil? In all this did not Job sin with his lips. So even though he was going through some shit, he didn't, uh, you know, he didn't let all that shit overtake him. He didn't. He said, "Hey, we, we're going to receive good, and we're also going to receive evil during our time on on this earth." You know, so it's important to understand that. You know. You have to take the sweet with the bitter. Like the prophet Job, he understood that. You know, a lot of these people out here, they, they're they so wishy-washy. You know, they, they may think they're, uh, you know, righteous because they're going to a church. And then it builds them up for a season. And then next thing you know, they're, they're you know, they're, they're taken, they're overtaken by the by whenever bad things or calamity happens to them, you know, they can't deal with it. They take their own lives, some of these people. And that's actually a spirit of wickedness, you know, to kill yourself or to go into a depression, you know. And, and ultimately, it's all done by Yahweh. because what did we read in Isaiah 45 and 7? He creates the light and he, he forms the light and creates darkness. He brings forth peace and he also brings forth evil, Right. And the word evil means bad times. So it's all through the Yahweh. If you're in a depressed state, Yahweh put that depressed state on you. All right? If you're feeling wicked and you're out there committing evil, well, guess who put that on you? Yahweh put that spirit on you to, to be that person. All right? It's all the will of Yahweh, everything. All right? But Job. <coughs> 